we purchased some BBKs, mm -hmm. uh, new upper and lower control arms. There we go. They got the grease fittings on them, you know what I'm saying? All your So it's only right that I do it like this. When I stop to reminisce, not a whole lot to miss about my past life. Last night I almost went and flipped. Fast like flashlights, all I see is blindness. But it's so hard to get away from what's behind us. Travel the world and all along you still love me. Hindsight, I lost sight of what's really in front of me. I got a good day. A good thing going on. Got a good day, good thing going on. Got a good day, a good thing going on. Got a good day, a good thing going on. I got a good day, a good thing going on. Yeah, I got a good day, a good thing going on. Yeah, I got a good day, good thing going on. Welcome to Peanuts Automotive Adventures. That's Peanut, I'm James. Welcome to Peanuts Automotive Adventures, where every day is an automotive adventure. As y'all can see, we're in the honeycomb hideout. Yep. Give y'all a little update on, a, on our project, autocross project right here. Um, but before we do that, give an official shout out to our official sponsor. The GraphicSpotVA.com. The GraphicSpotVA.com. Anything graphic related decals race decals you need um stripes racing stripes for your car he can do it all y'all you know anything automotive related especially when it comes with decals it's also uh, an etsy store yep it's an etsy store like peanut said i almost forgot thank you for mentioning that he has an etsy store so it's gonna be right there you know we're gonna put the <laughs> etsy store link in there too uh anything y'all y'all need signs for y'all clubs automobile clubs y'all need um uh signs uh banners uh anything for your uh automobile team club all that they can do it for y'all they can do it for you i'm not gonna keep preaching the team run it they can do it they can make it happen yeah. reach out to them talk to them you know what i'm saying he, he's a great small business owner locally to me and talk to him right you know oh um maybe your team needs some t-shirts you know what i'm saying yeah. some hoodies it's hoodie season y'all yeah Especially here in Central Virginia, it's hoodie cold. season. It's cold, right? So, you know what I'm saying? Reach out to them, y'all. Today, uh, we're going to give y'all an update on the Project Mustang that we ain't even named yet. I thought about calling it Project Blueberry, huh? Yeah. But we're we going to think about it. I'll I let Peanut pick out a name for it. Uh, uh, but, you know what I'm saying? We're going to give y'all an update. Uh, today, we pulled the uh, old axle out. Yeah. And um, we're going to stop here today. Because the, the goal today was just to pull it out, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Get it unhooked, get it on the ground. Um, but we're going to turn around because I don't want to give too much away. And I don't want to be boring to team run it. I'm going to show you all exactly what's going on with the project and how, yeah, I'm going overboard with it. <coughs> I, I have to. I have to show you all why. You know, I'm going overboard with it. Yeah. The intentions was not to go overboard. The intentions was to stay budget friendly. But well, how did you stay budget fair and friendly with an automotive project? It's hard for me, y'all, especially when I'm trying to do it right. So let me turn this around quick talk. All right, team, run it. That's the old one. We got the old one out. It's the factory one. It's still got the S clip. It's a posi unit that the GTs came with, 327 gear. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, it's the old one. We got it out. Uh, what else? What else? I'm glad we changed these out on the new one. Yeah. Bam, there's the new one. Yeah. There's that new one right there. From there it go, there it go. So this was in another video too. Yeah, yeah, I know it was another yeah. video, you're right. But hey, I'm gonna show y'all some issues that I see with this car and how we gonna solve them. Yeah. Well, they already, that's that's an old issue, but we probably gonna have to get that changed out. He's talking about this. So you can see that it needs exhaust work. You can see the smut right there. It's cracked Hello. right here. And there's a, a rust hole in that front muffler right there. These are Dynamax mufflers. So this thing will be making it to our local muffler shop pretty soon. But what I'm getting at is uh, what I have here. Look, look, Peanut, it's chunking. See uh, all these? Broke. Broken. Broken. You know, the rubber. It, it, this is a 20 plus year old car. You know, uh, you know, and those are probably worse up in there. We haven't even pulled them yet. That's going to be for another day. When we gonna pull these, and I'm gonna show y'all why we gonna pull them. There's another one up there. 
Another one up, the, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna pull all this. Yeah. 20 year old rubber, look, peanut messing with it, squeaking. Hear that squeaking team running? Which doesn't mean much, Peanut, but I just don't like this right here. This right here ain't, ain't good. It ain't good for the home team. Nope. It ain't good for the home team. So what I'm going to show y'all, Team Run It, is how we're going to solve this. Bye. Let's Peanut show you. Okay. We purchased some BBKs. Yes. Uh, new upper and lower control arms. There we go. They got the grease fittings on them. You know what I'm saying? Polyurethane. You know what I'm saying? Bye. Went on ahead and went all out and on the car. Might as well. What would you got right there? You could keep it right there. Let's see. Powder coated black. You know what I'm saying? BBKs. These got grease joints. Here, flip them right there. Bam. There's another grease fitting right there. So, so you can put it back, Peanut. Another grease fitting right there. Also, too, Peanut, where are those rubber things at? Rubber. We're going to show like this one. This one's good. You can grab that one in between your legs right there. I went ahead and ordered some new polyurethane upper and lower um, spring cushions. You know what I'm saying? Look at these. Uh uh, ain't no way we going back with that. No, nope. ain't no we're way. Going we're going with these, right? So we could put these back in the box. We just pulled them out to show you, team running. We went all out, went all out, and we still ain't done. But yeah, the parts, the, oh, see, Peanut went and got. He's playing games with them, so he can have them. Them things are done. Yes. Also, of course, y'all probably seen another video. We're going with new draft shaft bolts. Nice lock, lock tight on them. Might as well just throw them in there. All right, we're going to pick this up. Peanut just tossed them outside, y'all, where they belong. Those old cushions. These need to be tossed away. Terrible. But that's what you do when you're dealing with a 20-plus-year-old car. You know, it is what it is. So we're going to fix all that. Probably gonna order these new shockers, these uh, shock stabilizers, uh, new. Uh, I might go with a different shock. I know it's a Takiko, it, it ain't busted or anything. Uh, we probably gonna go, come on, come on, Peanut, we going over here. We're probably gonna go with an upgraded rear sway bar, front and back rear yeah. sway bar. Uh, I gotta run these numbers. I think these are factory, factory springs. So we gonna get some more springs for the, the front is lowered, but the back ain't. Now we know why, because that looked like a Ford number. I think they factory springs. I'm gonna Google the number to see what they are. And I got a book in the house too that'll let me figure out what they are. I think it's a Ford number, y'all. Team running, let me know. Is that a Ford number right here? E5 E5 SC 5560-AA. I think it's a Ford number. But, but these ain't lowering springs, so they gotta come out. They're not going back in there. No this factory sway bar is going to come out. Like, like I said before, we are building an autocross car, a mild uh, cam C car. So, you know, we just want to go ahead and do it right. Put it back together right, especially that back end. Yeah. To keep it planted, right? Yep. Keep that back end planted. Yep. I can't remember the shocks, but I thought about going with the single adjustable shocks i think they i can't remember the manufacturer offhand but they agx they the ones come with that little small knob on the bottom thought about going with those taking these kakikos takikos out you know but yeah the intentions was not to go overboard with this car but right peanut too late right yep. way too late way too, way too late. late so yeah. it is what it is so just want to give y'all a little update look at peanut he can't get enough of the playing with the little breather cap <laughs> on the axle tube. Breather. And also, there's one other thing. Where's that paint at, Peanut? Three. This paint right here, y'all. This is some good stuff. Is soil? No, this is uh, Eastwood Rust Encapsulator uh, Plus. <laughs> we used the matte black. This is this some good stuff. Uh, we, we brushed it on. Yeah. You, you could spray it on. But, but, but look at it, flat black. That's what we wanted. Yeah. You know, Rust Encapsulating paint. It's great, y'all. You know, we're yes. not... We're not getting any cut from Eastwood, but we just wanted to share with Team Run It. This is some good stuff. They got it in gloss black. They got it in different colors and whatnot. We but yeah, look, look, we even picked up some more brushes because we got to touch it up coat. for the second coat. He's right because this little quart can did that. We still got a half yeah. pint. My bad, not a quart. Half pint left of this paint. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and touch like it up a little bit here. more. It's where? About to like right here. You're right. 
So I just want to share that with y'all. Just want to share that with y'all. And also, let me share something else with y'all if y'all didn't already know. Y'all better get y'all can. Y'all better get y'all can. That that uh, crow oil. Y'all better get y'all can. Look at that. It's on the ground, right? Yep. It's on the ground. Matter of fact, I might do a little promo with it. Put it right there. I might do a little promo. You can hold it. You can hold it. Y'all better get y'all can. Get y'all can of that. Yep. No, I we didn't know. snap no boats. All the boats came loose. Look at that. Y'all better get y'all can. And they also just What's that? Y'all better get y'all can. Yep. Look at that. Mm. Look at that. It came out. It was seamless, y'all. Yep. You know how See. sometimes them rusted boats be up in there? You be snapping them. That crawl. That, that, as a matter of fact, I need to order some more. Because yep. look, we kind of we, we empty, right? Because I used this on the trailer before, used it on here, and I used it on something else. I can't remember. Maybe Old Roscoe. We used it on Old Roscoe. That's what we used it on. Yeah. We used it on Old Roscoe. But hey, y'all better get y'all some. Yep, one we Better get y'all some. Yep, Kano. Cleaning, cleaning the front end. Oh, when we was doing the front end, right? Yep. On Roscoe? Yep. See? That's what I'm telling team around it. Y'all better get y'all some. I highly recommend this stuff. Yep. WD-40, I laugh at now. Sorry, WD-40. Sorry, y'all can't wear they, this uh, brand's corduroys. That was a joke. All right, let me turn this around. All right, team running. We're going to close it out. Gave y'all a little update. Uh, we just going to call it Project Blueberry. Yeah. You want to call it? Yeah. Cherries and berries. I, it's a long story where I got that from. But we're going to Project Blueberry for now. We're going to name yep. it Blueberry. Um, she's coming along good. Yep. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go ahead and um, hopefully by the end of this week, we'll have the axle up in there. But we probably won't have all the parts needed to put it all back together. Yeah. But we're making it happen. Yep. I'm hungry. I hope y'all didn't hear my stomach. <laughs> you heard my stomach? Yeah. So, yeah, I heard it too. Hopefully y'all didn't hear it. <laughs> but, hey, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell. Hit that notification bell like Peanut stated. And thank you for all the support. Team Run It. This is Peanuts Automotive Adventure, where every day is an automotive adventure. We out. Peace. Peace.